Okay, one of the things that you will cut mostly is an onion. Now, how do you stop yourself from crying? First, very sharp knife. Sharper the knife, the less pressure you put on the onion, less juice that comes out. So first of all, I tend to top it. So that's the top, that's the bit that pops out the top of the ground. And then I peel it. You don't want to see me peel it there. I always keep the root on when I'm cutting an onion. First of all, I cut it straight down the back of the root, keeping some of the root on. Now from here, I can do a myriad of different cuts. So today I'm just going to do a, a fine dice and a little bit thicker dice. But you can see I've got a nice flat surface to work on. Keep my hands and I slide the knife through to where I almost hit the root. And I'll go through that. Obviously the sharper the knife here, the safer it is. Absolutely. Yes, imperative that we have a sharp knife. So now I have three cuts through the onion, keeping the root still on. Now I come the other way, cutting through the onion. Okay, we can see it's still all attached, ready to go. There's three cuts horizontally and there's five or six cuts vertically. Now I can do a fine dice from here, I can do a thicker dice from here, whatever I want. To start with, I'm going to do a thicker dice. Okay, a nice thick dice. And you'd use that in a pasta sauce or something like that, the thick dice. I'm going to do a fine dice, so you've seen me do the cuts horizontally and vertically making sure that my fingers are out of the way, my thumbs tucked away, never do this. Everything's tucked away, but I've still got a nice firm surface to work on. So this just needs some more knife control. Okay. So is the blade resting against your fingers when you slice bread? Yes, the blade just rests against my first knuckle. nice fine dice. Now you've seen me peel an onion, you've seen me uh, dice an onion, now we're just going to wedge an onion. So with half an onion we've got a nice flat surface, we just remove that little piece of root so it will fall apart. Now from there, still with a nice flat surface, fingers, thumb behind, we make a cut on the 45 degree. There's a wedge. A cut on the 45 degree, a wedge, a cut on the 45 degree. Now I like to turn that around because I'm a lefty. A cut on the 45 degree. Now you'd use these in a stir fry or maybe even a curry, something like that, where you want a little bit more flavour from your onion and it can handle a bit more frying. The wedge. I cry. <laughs> I cry.